Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back guys. Welcome to another video lecture from Kimi Biology. In this video lecture we will talk about the virus cultivation. Now what is virus cultivation? Virus cultivation means that just like prokaryotic and eukaryotic we can grow it or we can cultivate it in a petri plates which contain the agars. Fine. So we can cultivate it and after 24 hour incubations we check and we see the growth will occur inside uh, on the plates, on the petri plates. But uh, the second question is, is, is it possible for the viruses? Can we cultivate the viruses just like prokaryote and eukaryote? The answer is that no, we cannot cultivate the viruses just like prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Fine. So in this video lecture we will talk about the virus cultivation. Uh, but the researcher cultivate the viruses on the petri plate or they cultivate the viruses on the eggs. Fine. They cultivate the viruses on the plates as well as they cultivate the viruses in the embryo and egg. So in this video lecture we will talk about the virus cultivation. So now let me write. virus cultivation fine we can cultivate the viruses in embryo and egg means when the eggs are in em embryonic stage we can cultivate the viruses in the in these kind of eggs <coughs> and we can also uh, grow the uh, viruses on the host cell as well fine viruses is uh, actually it is not behave just like prokaryotic and eukaryotic viruses are actually particles so that's why it is not cultivated just like uh, animal cells means just like prokaryotic and eukaryotic it cannot be cultivated just like that because these are because these prokaryotic and eukaryotic actually they are behaves like a cell but on the other cases viruses are not just like the cells so that's why we cannot cultivate it just like prokaryotic and eukaryotic fine so how we can cultivate it we can cultivate it on the yeah, or we can cultivate it in, within the embryonic egg fine you know with uh, inside these eggs uh, it contains several st uh, several uh, cavities it contain uh, elantic cavity it contain chorioelantic cavity it contain albumin uh, cavity or yolk sacs uh, it also contain a uh, um, air sac area fine so within this area within this cavity we can cultivate different viruses okay so that's all about the Versus cultivation. Now explain me. Explain all these with the help of diagram. So how we can cultivate? It? We can cultivate it with the embryonic egg. So now let me draw the egg structure. So egg structure will be just look like in this form. This area is a shell. So we call it shell. This is shell area. This is shell. It contains several layers. So let me draw these each of layers. This green one layer, as I am drawing for you, this green one layer. Fine. This layer is called Coriolantic cavity, or this one, this this one. This is called uh, chorioelantic membrane. Chorioelantic membrane. Maybe the spelling is right or wrong. So check the spelling whether it is right or wrong. Fine. So this, the line as I draw, this is chorioelantic membrane. And this is air sac. Fine. So now that's one area is a air sac. And uh, there is some other layers let me draw. Fine. Now this this cavity we call that uh, embry embryo neck cavity so this one area is called embryonic cavity this one area is called air sac this is called uh, uh, chorioelantic cavity 
the outer uh, shell we call that the outer membrane air area we call that shell fine now the blue area as i draw we call that atlantic cavity so now let me write this area that i draw inside this blue area we call that yolk sac yolk sac fine so now this area are called yolk sac we have another some another area where the uh, embryos are grow so let's suppose these are another area within this area the embryos may be grow let's suppose this blue one represents that the embryos are now ready and the embryos are growing growing uh, and we call that area amenot amenotic cavity so now let me write amenotic cavity fine so we call that amenotic cavity this one area is albumen albumen now this one area is albumen fine so now that's this is the structure of the egg so uh, let, let me once again uh, explain for the egg uh, structure for your understanding that how we can cultivate the egg, uh, how we can cultivate the viruses within these eggs uh, you know this is uh, let's suppose this is uh, uh, means embryonic egg fine means the egg in which the embryos are growing let's suppose this is the egg now it contains several layers through these layers or through this cavity we can easily grow or we can easily cultivate the viruses so now let me explain each of cavity this outer layer as i draw in a black uh, marker these one are called shell fine this green area are called chronic membrane and within the chronic membrane there is a cavity we call that embryonic cavity fine there is another layer within this uh, embryonic cavity and we call it albumen albumen means it is a whitish area uh, I think you uh, you already see that area and within the egg uh, you already watch that area uh, that it contain whitish area so that whitish area are actually called that albumen fine so now these are the albumen area and this one as I draw in a blue color separately we call that yolk sac yolk sac means the yellowish area of the egg fine and uh, these uh, area where the embryos are going where the chickies are grow so we call that amenoitic cavity and these blue area are called atlantic cavity fine now these are the cavities these are the areas where we can grow or where we can cultivate the viruses but first of all what we do we treat the egg or we clean the shell of the egg with iodine with this iodine the microorganism will be killed on the surface fine and after sometimes uh, we take the viruses from the human body or from the infected human body we take these viruses uh, polio viruses or any other kind of viruses we take such viruses from the human uh, from infected human or from infected animal which are infected with viruses so we take the viruses from each of the uh, patients after taking we, we take it with the help of syringe fine so we take it with the help of french after taking the viruses from each patient and what we do we then inject each of viruses in each layer in each of layer fine and once we uh, means that once we inject the viruses in each layer then we seal the whole egg with a gelatin why we do that why we uh, cover the whole egg with a gelatin because the egg contain pores and the egg also contains some other areas where we punch it where we uh, make a holes in the eggs so that's why we cover the egg with a gelatin now once we cover it so the microorganisms other microorganisms will not become and the there will be not uh, other microorganism chances after that what we do we incubate the egg six to eight days and after six to eight days we take out the eggs and then we broke it once we broke it we see the color changes this albumen color will be changed this yolk color will be changed this embryonic color will be changed now this color changes shows that here are the viruses which are grown fine so now that's all uh, that that's uh, that's are the technique that how we can cultivate the viruses within the uh, embryonic egg but now there is another important thing about that 
what uh, that is that we cannot uh, the, uh, means that let's suppose uh, uh, in this particular choreo antiquity we can cultivate the uh, means fine so no in choreo antiquity we can cultivate myxo viruses myxoma virus now this myxoma virus you cannot cultivate this myxoma virus in the albumin area you cannot cultivate this virus from the yolk sac because whenever you want to cultivate this virus so you, you need to to cultivate it into choreoelantic membrane area fine so you you can cultivate the myxoma viruses fine so there are some viruses which we can cultivate it in a sev in a several layers of the uh, egg okay antic cavity so we can ca cultivate the mumps into alantic cavity so let's suppose uh, 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 means that uh, in alantic cavity we can cultivate mumps mumps virus fine so in atlantic cavity we can cultivate mumps viruses now this mumps viruses you cannot cultivate it into the choreo atlantic cavity now this is the structure of the embryonic egg embryonic fine so this is the structure of embryonic egg so we can cultivate these uh, viruses into embryonic egg fine but the researcher also cultivated the viruses into a petri plate as well how first they uh, take the petri plates and they make agar you know neutron agar once they make the neutron agar then they pour the neutron agar but this neutron agar or this agar will be uh, first of all they will cover the agar or they put some antimicrobial agent within this agar and after adding these uh, antimicrobial agents what they do and after that uh, they uh, uh, then after that uh, once they put the antimicrobial agent uh, into the agar so the bacteria and fungi will be not grow only the host cell will be grow so we need the host cell whenever you want to cultivate the viruses into a petri plates you need to cultivate the host cell and this host cell may be the animal cell so first of all you will streak the animal cell means the host cell or eukaryotic cell and once you cultivate the host means eukaryotic cell and after that uh, then you will put your viruses how the whole processes are done so now let me explain it with the help of diagram Let's suppose this is a plate. Petri plates. Well, just first of all, first of all, we will add a agar plus antibiotic or antimicrobial agents. This antimicrobial agent will kill the remaining microorganism, means bacteria and fungi, and just eukaryotic micro uh, eukaryotic uh, cells will be grow, means animal cells will be grow. So we add agar and antibiotic first. After that, animal cells. Now after growing animal cells, uh, then we will loaded the viruses. Then we loaded here the viruses fine now after that what we do we will cover the whole plate with a thin layer now why we cover the whole plate with a thin layer we cover the whole plate with a thin layer for this purpose that the big that the viruses will not spreading just on a specific area the viruses will attached to the host cell and destroyed to the host cell just as a specific area now whenever the viruses will destroy the specific virus the specific eukaryotic cell or the specific host cell so each viruses will not have the ability to kill the remaining why because we cover the plate with a thin layer so once you cover the plate with a thin layer so these viruses will just kill the means the neighboring cells not all of the eukaryotic cell so by doing that we use the thin layer fine so that's why we cover the whole plate with the thin layer now after that what we do after that we take out this plate and we incubate it so we can incubate it for the 24 hours we can incubate in a 24 hours in incubator after the 24 hour or 72 
means uh, 72 24 to 72 hours we can cultivate the viruses uh, we can incubate it into the incubator after the incubation we check the result means let's suppose these are the cells means colonies so the colonies uh, means the colony structure will be changed and here the plugs are formed let's suppose these area are called what this area means these colonies we call that plugs now these plugs shows that here are the viruses here are the viruses which can cause the destruction of the eukaryotic cell this plug shows this plug formation shows that the viruses are here and the viruses can destroy the animal cells so now that's all the result and uh, the scientist also or the researcher also take this uh, colonies uh, out uh, so they take this colony out uh, and take it into a slide so they take it into a slide fine so here they take this colony with the help of inoculating loop. First they sterilize the inoculating loop. Once the inoculating loop is sterilized, then we take this colony. Let's suppose these colonies uh, here are the plug swarm. So we take this colony and we make a smear here. Now once we make the smear within the slide, then what we do? We stain this slide with neutral red and tryptophan blue. Fine. So we stain it with neutral red. neutral red and trip fan blue once we stain it with these kind of staining reagents then after that we take the slides and we see it under the microscope now under the microscope we check the host cell or we check the uh, animal cell so the animal cell will be burst. So once you see that the membrane of the animal cell are burst and you, you will just check in light microscope, just you can only watch the eukaryotic cell. If you watch that, yes, eukaryotic cell are burst. So it means the viruses are here. If the eukaryotic cells are not burst, it means this result is negative. Fine. Once we see the animal cells or eukaryotic cell, so what we see, we see that either the eukaryotic cell are in a destructive form or no, they are in a life form. So if they are in destructive form, so the cell will be just like in this form. Let's suppose this is a cell, it will be just like in this form. So this area will be not covered, fine? This area will be not covered, this area will be burst and here are the viruses comes out. And so you can so you can check the viruses just like that. I, I received many kind of comments in my video lecture that some of the students says that uh, that please make the lectures in a Urdu language or a Hindi language also. So I received these comments from the Indian students and as well as from the Pakistani students. They told me that make the lecture in Urdu also or in Hindi also. So I will make the, first of all, I, I, I explain already this lecture into English. Now, for the summarization, I will uh, summarize the whole lecture into Urdu or Hindi. Fine. So what we do, so I will explain the whole lecture in Urdu. What we have done in the actual fact, when I saw many students in their videos on uh, YouTube, they have written that we will understand this lecture in Urdu. तो अब मैं आपको तमाम तर ये लेक्चर उर्दू में समझाने की कोशिश करता हूँ कि आखिर होता क्या है इस तमाम तर प्रोसेस में ये लेक्चर असल असल में ये लेक्चर किसके हवाले से था ये वायरस कल्टीवेशन के हवाले से था मतलब ये कि हम वायरस को किस तरह कल्टीवेट कर सकते हैं वायरस जिस तरह के आप बैक्टीरिया मीन्स प्रो और यू को आप कल्टिवेट कर सकते हैं एक पिटरी प्लेट्स में तो आप वायरसेस को बिल्कुल इसी तरह कल्टीवेट नहीं कर सकते रीज़न क्या है रीज़न ये है कि वायरसेस जो है वो पार्टिकल्स होते हैं और प्रोकैरियोटिक और यूकैरियोटिक जो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स होते हैं ये आपके पास क्या होते हैं ये आपके पास सेल होते हैं तो सेल जो के वो बर्डिंग भी कर सकते हैं मींस 
कंजुगेशन का प्रोसेस भी कर सकते हैं सब कुछ उसके अंदर हो सकता है लेकिन वायरसेस ऐसा नहीं कर सकता नहीं कर सकते सो so, इसलिए हम वायरसेस को इस तरह कल्टीवेट नहीं कर सकते तो कल्टीवेशन के लिए वायरसेस को हम कल्टीवेट किस तरह कर सकते हैं वायरसेस को हम कल्टीवेट कर सकते हैं एक एग्ज में एक अंडे में मतलब एक इस तरह यानी अंडा आपके पास होना चाहिए जो जो, जो कि एम्ब्रियनिक स्टेज में हो फाइन एम्ब्रियनिक स्टेज का क्या मतलब है एम्ब्रियनिक स्टेज का मतलब है कि जिसमें चूजा बनने का जिसमें चूजे बनने का टाइम आ जाए तो तब उस किस्म का एग आपको चाहिए फाइन तो आपने ये अंडा ले लिया फाइन अब सबसे पहले क्या करना चाहिए कि इस अंडे को आपने आयोडीन से स्टरलाइज स्टर करना है ताकि इसमें जितने भी बैक्टीरिया हो या जितने भी इस शेल एरिया पर जितने भी माइक्रो आइगनिज्म वो इस आयोडीन से किल हो जाए या ख़त्म हो जाए जब ये ख़त्म हो जाए तो फिर हम क्या करेंगे अब इस एग में मुख्तलिफ किस्म के लेयर होते हैं जैसे कि मैंने ड्रा किया ये आपके पास अमेनाइटिक अमेनाइटिक केविटी है ये आपके पास एलानटिक केविटी है ये आपके पास अल्ब्यूमन एरिया है ये आपके पास योग सेक है ये आपके पास शेल है ये आपके पास कोरियो एलानटिक मेम्ब्रेन है ये आपके पास एम्ब्रॉनिक केविटी है फाइन और ये आपके पास एयर एयर सेक है तो इन लेयर्स में या इन केविटीज़ में हम क्या कर सकते हैं इन केविटीज़ या इन लेयर्स में हम अपने वायरसेस को आसानी के साथ ग्रो कर सकते हैं सबसे पहले जैसे ही हमने इस एग्स को यानी आपने इस एग को आयोडीन के साथ वॉश कर लिया आप आपने इसको आयोडीन के साथ ट्रीट कर लिया तो उसके बाद फिर आप वायरसेस लेके एक इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन से वायरल इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन से आप वायरसेस लेके इंजेक्शन से और फिर उसको आप क्या करेंगे इसमें इंजेक्ट कर लेंगे तो ये जो ग्रीन लेयर मैंने बनाया है इसमें आप सिर्फ मैगजोमा वायरस को कल्टिवेट कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो यहाँ पर आप सिर्फ माइक्जोमा वायरस को कल्टीवेट कर सकते हैं ये जो मैंने ब्लू एरिया पे जो ड्रा किया है यहाँ पर आप सिर्फ मम्पस वायरस को कल्टीवेट कर सकते हैं तो मुख्तलिफ कैविटीज़ पर हम मुख्तलिफ वायरसेस को कल्टीवेट कर सकते हैं जब आपने वायरसेस को एक दफ़ा इसमें इंजेक्ट कर लिया फिर इस एग को हम एक जिलेटीन लेयर में क्या कर लेते हैं इस तमाम तर एग को हम जिलेटीन लेयर में कवर कर लेते हैं तो जब आपने इस एग को जिलेटिन लेयर पर कवर कर लिया तो तब फिर इस एग को हम इनक्यूबेटर में लग रख लेते हैं छः से आठ दिन तक जिलेटिन लेयर पर हम इसको कवर क्यों करते हैं इस मकसद के लिए ताकि और माइक्रो आर्गेनिज्म इसके अंदर ना आए सिर्फ हमारे वायरस इस इसमें ग्रो हो जाए तो छः या आठ दिन आप इसको इनक्यूबेटर में रखेंगे और फिर उसको जैसे इनक्यूबेटर से निकालेंगे फिर उसको तोड़ देंगे और तोड़ने के बाद आप देख लेंगे कि इसका जो ये कोरियो एलेंटिक क्यूटी होगा उसका कलर भी चेंज होगा जब अल्ब्यूमन ने आपने ग्रो होगा तो अल्ब्यूमन का कलर भी चेंज होगा चेंज होगा जिस जिस क्यूटी में आपने इस आपने जिस जिस क्यूटी में वायरस को पुट किया है तो वो एरिया आपके पास क्या होगा उस एरिया का कलर चेंज हो जाएगा तो ये ये शो करेगा कि यहाँ पर आपके पास क्या है यहाँ पर आपके पास वायरसेस ग्रोथ हुए है फाइन तो इसके अलावा हम वायरसेस को एपरेटरी प्लेट में भी ग्रो कर सकते हैं सबसे पहले आपको एगर प्लस एंटीबायोटिक को इस प्लेट में डालना होगा उसके बाद फिर आप एनिमल सेल्स को स्ट्रीक करेंगे फिर उसके बाद अपने वायरसेस को इसमें डालेंगे फिर उसके बाद इस तमाम तर प्लेट को एक तीन लेयर पर कवर करेंगे मकसद ये हुआ इस तीन लेयर को डालने का कि ये जो वायरसेस होंगे सिर्फ करीब करीब सेल को क्या करेंगे डैमेज करेंगे करीब करीब सेल को ये डिस्ट्रॉय करेंगे तो जैसे ये प्रोसेस हो जाएगा तो हमारे पास प्लग्स बन जाएंगे यानी चौबीस से बहत्तर घंटे बाद फिर हम इसको रख लेते हैं और चौबीस से बहत्तर घंटे बाद जब हम इसको इस प्लेट्स को हम इनक्यूबेटर से निकालते हैं तो प्लग्स बन जाते हैं इस तरह के डिस्ट्रक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ कॉलोनीज बन जाते हैं तो इसको हम प्लग्स कहते हैं इस प्लग्स को हम स्मेयर बना लेते हैं मतलब स्लैड में डाल देते हैं फिर उसको हम न्यूट्रल रेड और ट्रिप्रोफेन ब्लू से इस इस स्टेन से हम इसको गुजारते हैं जिससे हमने ये स्टेन दे दिया तो हम माइक्रोस्कोप माइक्रोस्कोप में देखते हैं माइक्रोस्कोप में हमारे पास हम माइक्रोस्कोप में सिर्फ ये देखते हैं हालांकि हम लाइट माइक्रोस्कोप में सिर्फ यू और प्रो क्रियाटिक मीन्स बैक्टीरिया और वायरस को हम नहीं देख सकते सिर्फ यू और प्रो सेल को हम एग्जामिनेशन उसके कर सकते हैं फाइन लेकिन उसमें जो ऑर्गेनिलस होते हैं वो भी हम नहीं देख सकते तो आप सिर्फ ये देखेंगे कि जो सेल बर्स्ट हुआ हो इस तरह का स्ट्रक्चर अगर आपके पास तकरीबन एक बार मैं दोबारा ड्रा कर देता हूँ आपको आपके आसानी के लिए अगर इस तरह एक एरिया से होल सम मौजूद हो तो ये ये जाहिर करता है कि ये वायरसेस जो है मतलब ये सेल जो है वायरसेस ने इन सेल को बर्स्ट किया है फाइन तो ये था हमारे पास वायरसेस की कल्टीवेशन 
I hope this video helpful and I hope you understand about that. If you have question in your mind, so write it into a comment. I will try my best to give you answer as soon as possible. And uh, I will try my best to prepare other videos into Urdu and Hindi, uh, Urdu or Hindi language. But first of all, I will explain the whole lecture in English and after that, I will summarize the lecture into Urdu or Hindi. Fine. So that's all about the virus cultivation and I hope this video helpful. If you like this video, please click the like button, share this video and subscribe the channel to get more interesting video lecture like that. Thank you.